The Bambi is our lightweight, nimble, hitch up and go travel trailer. We have four floor plans within the Bambi line. A 16 RB, stands for rear bed. A 19 CB, corner bed. A 20 FB, front bed, and a 22 FB. We're gonna start off today by taking a look at the 16 RB, and we'll go through the differences of the different floor plans within the Bambi line. All Bambis have the solar rock guards. It's a plexiglass protection. It helps reduce some of the sun, uh, the, the sun rays inside, uh, but it also provides protection against rocks and debris, uh, certainly if you have aggressive tires coming off of your tow vehicle. Easy quarter turns will open this up for easy cleaning. Two holders will come down. You actually just screw these uh, pieces in right here and now you have access to open up that window. Again, two screws on this side, quarter turn will open that up as well. These are hinged on the outside. The Bambis have a 3M film to help protect the aluminum as well. Stainless, stainless steel rock guards, which we have on our larger models, uh, they can be added aftermarket, but we put the 3M film on there. Again, it's all about lightweight on the Bambi line. Two propane tanks, all 20 pounds, uh, easy to uh, change out if you go to a convenience store, a hardware store, you don't have to worry about refilling them, you can easily just do a cylinder uh, exchange. So we put two 20 pound tanks in the front, that will, do, that will take care of your hot water heater, your, your cooktop, and your furnace. Uh, two batteries, your choice of either lead acid, AGM, or the, the lithium, which is our Airstream Power Plus, can be installed in a Bambi. You have a solar controller, um, I'm sorry, you have a solar port in the front here, and you have three ports uh, on the roof. Solar is an option. The, the one here is for a portable array uh, that can be added aftermarket if you wish. The solar option that is factory installed is on the roof itself. Uh, it can also be dealer installed too. That would include, uh, the solar option includes two AGM batteries, the panel on the roof, as well as a solar controller and solar display on the inside. The LP cover, it's removed on this one just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. We have this guy here spins off, it's wing nut, and whoops. the whole cover just comes up, covers the LP, and the wing nut is placed on and then just spun on. You have your regulator that will showcase, will give you the ability to either change to one or the other, or if it's in the middle there, it'll pull and draw LP from both tanks. There's also an indicator. Um, red means you're low on propane, green means you're good. This comes down and just covers over the top. And that's your LP shroud. Manual jacks on the Bambis, again, they're very lightweight, so it's very effort. It doesn't take much effort at all, it's effortless. Lead uh, raises that jack. That's how you, when you get to your site, that's how you're gonna level uh, the fore and aft of the Airstream travel trailer. It's also how you get it on your two and five sixteenths bolt. New Dimco hitch. You can even leave it down and it just snaps right in place as you lower it onto the ball. Uh, to release, you leave it up. It automatically has a, a self-locking pin, so a pin's not necessary when you're traveling. But if you do wish to lock it, there is a hole here and you can put a, a lock through that as well. The safety chains, kind of a quick tip when you're towing, it's recommended that you cross those over and connect it to your tow vehicle. You also have a emergency brake as well. If this is pulled, it'll engage the brakes on the back and that would be if the, there is separation between the tow vehicle and the Airstream. The seven way will plug into your tow vehicle. It carries all the um, information from the tow vehicle to the, to the travel trailer. So when your lights are on, the lights on the Airstream turn on, your turn signal, your brake lights. Also, with your brake controller on the inside, it'll enact or activate your brakes on the Airstream. So when you depress your brake pedal, it also engages the brakes on the Airstream. Um, the other thing it does is it charges your batteries while you're towing. A full day's worth of towing will charge those batteries off so they're all topped off when you get to your destination. As you move around to the side, 
where the door is, we have a single steel step on Bambi's. They have grip tape on there, so if it is wet, you have some additional grip on the, on the step itself. Just simply folds up and in for storage and comes back out when you're ready to deploy. The door itself takes eight hours of construction. The overall Airstream can take up to 350 hours with over 3,000 rivets. But the door itself is quite unique. We have 16 welds on the screen door. The screen door allows for a lot of, a lot of natural light and also air to come through. This little cover right here allows you to access the door itself on the inside. And it can be pushed out of the way to access it, the overall door when you, when you combine it. The door shuts like a vault. And you can really tell that insulation and the quality of an Airstream when you go inside. Certainly on a busy campground, when it's noisy outside, and you're in the inside, it's very, it's very quiet. Uh, the door latches, the door latch on the outside, so on really windy days, it won't just swing shut. We did cover the, the brakes already, but one thing I didn't really highlight is that they are uh, never adjust. So they automatically adjust as the pads wear. So you, you, when you depress that brake pedal in the front of your, your tow vehicle, the pads are always right against where they need to be. So you don't have to adjust your brake controller all the time. We have Goodyear uh, endurance tires, 15 inch tires and wheels. That's been an upgrade. The Bambi 16 used to have 14 inch tires and wheels for a long time. We upgraded that to the 15 here recently. All Bambis will have a 110 campsite um, outlet. A lot of people use it just to plug in other devices underneath their awning. Uh, you can also plug in lights. A lot of people like to string lights around their awning. Moving in the back, you know, one thing you can really tell from an Airstream, uh, I'm sorry, from the Bambi is that single tail light. It's unique to Bambi itself. Uh, other models will have different tail lights. Uh, the Bambi has that single circle tail light. All Airstreams will have, uh, on the travel trailers from Bambi up, will have a rear view camera. What's nice about that rear view camera, it has a built in microphone. So if someone is backing up, now you can mute that while you're driving, but if you're at a campsite and you're putting it in reverse, uh, the person that's kind of helping guide that in can just speak nice and quietly without having to yell at the, at the, at the person in the tow vehicle. The rear storage on a 16 RB is a lot. <laughs> just give me a sec, I'll pull these out. You can kind of give an idea of how much room is really underneath that. And it's insulated and weatherproof once locked. And all of our exterior storages are lockable. The rear window also opens up for greater ventilation. Moving around to the roadside, we have our 30 amp power center. Now the 30 amp is needed uh, and the power is gonna be needed to run your AC and your microwave. Everything else on the inside can run off the house batteries. Of course, when you're plugged in, it's gonna run off of this. But those two items, it's very important, those two items do require shore power or a generator. Right below that, you'll have a coax cable. So if the campground does have cable, you can just screw the uh, coax cable right into this. It's automatic. You turn your TV on, now you're watching TV on the inside. Right next to it is the furnace, 12,000 BTU furnace. It's, it's run off the LP, and it's important to use if you're below freezing. Uh, one, you're going to want to use it because it's going to keep you warm, but two, it's going to heat your tanks and your plumbing. So if you are below freezing or camping in the winter, you're going to want to make sure that your furnace is on. Right next to that is your hot water tank. Um, and for new for this year is the fact that it's tankless. So in the past, we've had uh, tanked kind of hot water systems it take a while to, to heat up and you only have so much usable uh, water until you kind of run out of that hot water and you have to wait for it to get back up again. New for 2021 uh, is tankless, it's instantaneous, and it's continuous. So you turn on your hot water, it's coming out of the faucet or the shower, and it'll go as long as you have that hot water on. Um, if you do not use the hot water for uh, over 30 minutes, it will automatically turn off. Safety feature. You have two hose inlets here. Uh, one's labeled with blue, the other one brown to help identify what it's for. The blue is for your city water. So if you're actually at a campsite and there is water available, you just hook a hose right up to this 
Uh, it's a built-in regulator, so it has constant PSI uh, or water pressure throughout each faucet that you have water running to. If you do not have water at the site and you need to bring water, we have a 23 gallon tank that can be filled here. It's lockable, so it can't be tampered with. You just pour clean water into this. Uh, there is an onboard pump. The pump will bring all the water to the faucets. The black tank flush is a way to clean your, your tank. Now on the 16 RB, you have a combo tank. So your combo tank is going to be 30 gallons, but it houses both your gray and your black. What's gray? Gray is anything that comes out of the shower or the sink. Black is coming from the toilet. In this case, it's all coming into one area. Um, and that is when you dump, you take out your, uh, your sewer hose, which is right here. You pull that out, you plug it in to this, and you just simply release that. There is a light here. If your case you're doing it and it's dark out, you can see what you're doing. Um, when you're using this, you want to make sure the black tank flush, you want to make sure that it's open. Because if that isn't open, you're filling that tank, right, with the water. So you want to keep that open. You plug it in here. Now you're cleaning your tank. There's some high power jets that clean the inside of the tank. Right below that is a shower. Hot and cold water are available out of the shower. Great for just cleaning off real quick, brushing off the sand off your feet. Uh, washing the dog, washing your, your gear, whatever it might be. Anything you don't want to track on the inside before you go in. The other piece, all Bambis, have four lightweight stabilizer jacks um, all in all corners. So you really have five touch points when you count the front hitch. As we go inside the 16, you'll see how actual spacious it is when an otherwise kind of Look, it's a compact unit, but we have a lot of space in the inside. You walk in, you have two overhead lockers with this aluminum timbre. The timbre is nice because it keeps it out of the way, uh, allows you to put a lot of storage on both sides. On this one, you have your JVC stereo. Uh, it does have Bluetooth connectivity and there is uh, USB ports right next to that as well. Speakers on either side um, are are, are, are there for the stereo. Um, and then on the dinette area, you have your LED lights. Everything on the inside is LED. Just trying to keep everything as efficient as possible. You can turn one on, both on, or obviously off. The table here will convert into a bed. So this area, whole, this whole area here converts into an, another sleeping area. A lot of people, if they don't need the dinette necessarily, what a lot of people do is they actually turn it into a bed they put some pillows and now you have like an eight foot long couch. So it's actually a real nice comfortable seating area. You get yourself back there and you can just kind of sit back and relax up against the pillows. The galley area on the, on the 16 RB gives you two burner cooktop stove. Again, that comes from the LP. You have a 3.1 cubic foot fridge with a little ice box up on top with a travel lock. Uh, new is going to be the fact that it is all electric. All electric, uh, some people think, well, if you're in a boondock, is that a good idea? It actually is um, because it's so efficient. The efficiency of these new refrigerators are incredible. Um, it takes a little bit of energy to get it cool from the get go, but once it's at that cool state, it will stay there without much energy use. We do give you two batteries now. Older models with the two way fridges had only one battery. And it is recommended, if you're gonna be spending more than a weekend boondocking or dry camping, to get the solar. That solar will keep everything charged and topped off. Right over here, you're gonna have the sink, stainless steel sink. Um, and right below that is a microwave with storage on both sides. We do give you um, a little flatware organizer, a little place to put a cleaning brush. You have storage underneath here as well. Up on top, there's additional storage with these aluminum timber doors and an opening window uh, here as well. Kind of coming up, we have our fantastic fan. So this is a great way to ventilate any kind of, if you have steam or anything else that's coming up, this is a great way to bring that open. It has a cover on it. You can crack it open just slightly or all the way. It gives you a nice um, airflow throughout the unit. The AC, as I mentioned before, it's a 13.5 uh, AC system with a heat strip that also allows you to heat the unit. You're gonna, you can use that if you're plugged in, 
so long as it's, not, it's above freezing. Once you get about freezing, you don't want to use the furnace. But we have our sea level monitor system. So the sea level will actually give you the condition of both the battery, so voltage of the battery, uh, how much is remaining in the fresh tank, and how much is remaining in the, this is a combo one on the 16RB, we call it, it's called black, because it is combo, but the black tank. So it'll give you a percentage of how full you are. So you have an idea of how much you need or how much room you have before you need to either dump or refill with fresh water. Right above is your pump. And again, that's when you, this is when you flip the switch if you're dry camping and you need to pump fresh water to the sink or to the bathroom. The 16RB has a wet bath. The other Bambies will have a dry bath. What does that mean? So the shower and bathroom are all in one on a 16RB. So your shower head is, you have these curtains that come up, it's all waterproof on the inside. Your shower head is removable, so you can use that. There's a little shut off switch, so if you wanna shut it off, uh, there is hot and cold shower there, as well as your toilet. Again, the reason we do this for is for space and for the lightweight aspect of the 16RB. As you move to the 19, you'll have that separated, the shower and the bathroom separated. The bed, nice, comfortable memory foam with a pillow top, uh, pillow top mattress. And you do get, uh, you do get two sleeping pillows and four different kind of uh, duvets and de decorative pillows on the bed itself. The TV in the bedroom is adjustable so it can be swung out and used if you are at the dinette or it can move around wherever you like if you're cooking if you want to watch television it moves around the tv runs off of 12 volt it can be turned to 110 uh, but because this whole unit um, you can run it off the house battery so you just turn it on it runs off the house battery it has a built-in dvd player on the side of the tv as well um, in the bedroom area you have your closet has a hanging rod up on top, so you can hang items within this closet and storage below. So it gives you room to hang your clothes or throw additional storage in that area. Your furnace uh, the controls are on this wall, so you can control the furnace. It's a thermostat. Reading lights, two on either side, uh, and also, of course, your normal headlight or your normal bedroom light up on top. And then two, again, very nice and deep. You know, these, these end cap uh, storage bins are actually quite nice. They're actually almost the size of some of our larger ones. So you have a nice, you have room to put extra clothes, towels, et cetera, et cetera. Um, hampers on either side of the mattress. So they fold up, they're curved, they're padded, but they fold up and allows for uh, you to put beds, extra bed sheets, um, extra clothing, towels, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, on either side of that. The bed itself is 48 by 78. So you have uh, 48 by 78, and it can get a little bit longer than that um, because that those hampers on either side, you can put the pillow on the hamper. Blackout curtains. So any window covering will have either these aluminum mini blinds that are shown here in the, in the galley, or like in the front panoramic window and back here, you'll have these blackout curtains. So if you do wanna take a nap during the day, you can do so without having sunlight come through. Um, we're gonna jump over to the 19CB and we'll show you the difference between the two different models. The 19CB is not only a little bit longer, but you're gonna need a, a little bit bigger tow vehicle. So the 19CB has a GVWR of 5,000 pounds just like the 20 and the 22. So all three of those Bambis will need to have a tow vehicle with a rating of 5,000 pounds. Um, but the 19 CB, it grows in length and the main difference is gonna be the bathroom. So as we go around the side, we'll go highlight the exterior real quick and then we'll go on the inside. The construction that we've already kind of talked about on the 16 hasn't really changed much. Your tankless, wa or your tankless water heater, uh, that instant, Hot water is on this side, uh, on this particular model. The awning comes with this pole. You open up, put it in the slot, you open that up. There's two of these kind of safety hooks. And you open it up over here. And then you take the center here and you just simply pull it out. You can drop this off to the side and you pull it all the way out here. So 
What you want to do on this is you want to make sure you kind of have a nice hold on it. You come to the side over here. You can let that go now. You're going to take this arm and you're going to attach it. You want it to click in place. So you're going to pull it forward and it clicks in place. This piece right here will click in place. You, before you put it up, you want to do the same on the other side. So again, you grab the arm, you hook it in, take both hands, clicks in place. Now you can work it up to whatever height you want. So I'm pretty tall, so we'll put it up higher. And there's all these different settings on both sides. So again, if it has a slight rain to it, you want to get some water off of it, you can, you can angle it so the water will drain off. Again, it's recommended that if it's really stormy, really heavy rain or really high winds, that the awning gets put in. This folds up and is stashed out of the way. You just roll it up. There's a little loop in here. You just simply tuck it in that loop. On the inside of the 19 is what really makes a difference. So we'll show you the inside. The dinette is the identical setup as the 16. So you have a dinette within that panoramic window. It's great for being able to look outside. But that's where the similarities kind of stop. You have your galley in this area is slightly bigger. You have a little bit more storage. Storage room, flatware tray. You have storage down here as well, a big drawer, which is quite nice below the microwave. Uh, this is your power shut off. So if you're in storage, you just turn that off. Same cooktop, again, same sink. So this all is very similar with an opening window. Again, that's pretty similar, but you have a little bit more space here. But it's this area that's really different. Your bed is a corner bed, slightly shorter. It's 48 by 76. So the mattress is just a couple inches shorter on the, on the corner bed. Refrigerator is bigger, 4.3 on that. So you have a little bit bigger ice box, a little bit bigger storage in this. This fridge is the same for the next three models. So the uh, 20 and the 22 share the same fridge. It's a little bit bigger than what the 16 has. And again, it's a lot more storage, very deep, deep storage. Goes all the way back, a lot of room here. And then down below again, storage down here as well. Gives you a lot, of, lot more room uh, in the 19. Storage in the walkway when you first walk in, gives you whether you want to put some gear here, your three coat hooks. Didn't touch on this, but all the Bambis come with a little whiteboard. You have your closet, again, it's bigger than what the 16 has by a couple inches. Hanging rod, storage as well, so you have ability to go through both. Uh, your power center with your fuses. Didn't touch that, didn't touch on that on the 16, but all, all Airstream models have that. And then you have this little vanity. So on the 16, it's all about space, right? We're trying to combine everything to be as self-sufficient into the smallest space possible. On the 19, we give you a little bit more room. So we give you this additional sink, this little lavvy here, a medicine cabinet, which the 16 has in the wet bath, and additional storage down below here as well, this whole area. So additional sink. Um, on the 16, you have just that one sink that's in, the, that's in the kitchen. And then you have your bathroom. You're looking at it going, well, this is interesting. Well, we did this for space. So you actually can step in this area and you can reach the storage that's here. But when you're using the bathroom, you simply open this up and you can actually create a bigger space. But you have the bathroom here, uh, the toilet, and then you have your shower back here. And the shower on the 19, 20, and 22 has a removable corner piece. Uh, if you wish to sit down, you can do so by sitting, or you can re remove that little space, uh, that little wedge, you can take it off, and you have more room to stand. So again, main difference between that 16 and the 19 is gonna be the fact you have a separated bathroom. In order to do that, we have the bedroom kind of in the corner. The TV, similar to the 16, uh, it swings out so you can watch television from the, uh, the dinette uh, or from the galley. And this swings out a little bit more. It's kind of new here, so there you go. 
and that opens up and again has a built-in DVD player so you can watch it. It is a 12 volt system, so similar to the, the 16 in that, in that case. Uh, USB ports in the bedroom, so all Airstreams will have USB ports within that bedroom area. On the 16, it was right next to your, uh, where, you, where your head would be. Uh, on the 19, it's up here. There's a little shelf up here that you can charge your devices. Uh, fantastic fan. Uh, your speakers, instead of being in the in locker or on the, on the roof, that's similar to the 20 and the 22 as well. So your speakers are on the, on the top. Uh, same air conditioner as what the 16 has. And you do have a, a little bit bigger furnace because it is a bigger unit. Moving up from the bed, this model has two windows, both with blackout shades. So if you do wanna take a nap during the middle of the day, you can do so. Also underneath, you have additional storage. So you have two different bins or the bins can be replaced and you have additional storage underneath the bed. The one thing that I wanted to do is show you how to convert the dinette. So the dinette on the 19 and the 16 are both the same. Uh, and the conversion is the same. There's a snap behind the wedge. So you unsnap that and these two Velcro and that can be set off to the side. And you want to do the same on this side as well. So unsnap it, on Velcro, place the wedge off to the side. Now once it's all done, these can just simply slide underneath. So you don't have to worry about it having, taking up any space. You want to pivot these up so you can get to the table. So the table will come up, you push this lever down, clicks up, locks out of place. You lift up, give it a little bit of a wiggle, and that comes down. These come back down on top, <clears throat> and then these fill in the spot in between the two. And now you have either a couch with, you can put additional pillows back, back there or a bed, sleeping area. And again, like I've mentioned, these here can just simply slide out of the way under the table. And that's how you convert both the 16 RB and the 19 CB dinette into a bed. From here, we're gonna take a look at the 20 FB. We move over to the 20 FB and the 22 FB. So these are our larger of the two Bambi sizes, still single axle, same, same system, it is a 5,000 GVWR, so you wanna have a tow vehicle that can tow up to 5,000 pounds on either one of these, so similar to the 19. Also similar to the 19 is the tank sizes. So you have a 23 fresh, which is the same on all Bambis. You have a 30 gray, so it's a gallon more than the 19. The 19 has a 29 gallon gray tank. This has a 30 gallon gray tank. Um, so does the 22. The black tank is 18 gallons. On uh, the 22, it's actually 17, but it's, it's a similar tank. It's just the way that it's, how the, how the plumbing is, is constructed. On all Bambis, you have these light duty stabilizer jacks. We wanted to kind of highlight how they work. So with Bambis, all of them have this manual jack. This little plug uh, right here goes right into, or the socket goes right into the, into the, uh, the jack. And you simply crank it down and or up. However, you can also, if you want to do something a little quicker, you can take a cordless drill with this adapter and you can plug it in and you can simply zip them down real quickly there as well. So that's the same on, on all of them. When you're leveling the Airstream, again, these are stabilizer jacks. They're not leveling jacks. So you're leveling the fore aft by the hitch. Once that's level, you just simply put the, the stabilizer jacks down. If you are boondocking or on an un, uneven ground where it's side to side is really off, you'll have to back up over some kind of a pe uh, puck system that you would want to roll over your tires. Or, I mean, sorry, have the tires roll over it uh, so, to make it level. The 20, you can kind of tell from a 20 right away because the door is more or less in the center. Usually the door is either in the front or in the back and you can kind of tell where the bedroom is because the bedroom is usually the opposite of the door, but the 20 has a really unique floor plan. 
The big difference from the 20, from the 19, is gonna be the galley. So we'll take you through the 20, we'll show you some of the different features uh, that the 20 has over the 19. Uh, the entryway here, you have a couple of unique pieces. First, we have this little boot tray. So if you do go for a hike, you have dirty shoes. We incorporated that kind of into the closet module. Uh, you also have this little place right here. It's actually a magazine rack, but you can store things in there like an umbrella, um, dog leash, whatever it is you might have. Also three hooks and the whiteboard that we discussed as well. Opposite, you have that very similar storage that the 19 has with the storage right on the side. 19 CB has the same similar storage as that. Um, the bed is in the front. It's the same bed with the hampers as you get in the 16 RB, but it's in the front rather than the back. In the front, you're actually lying in these nice panoramic windows. So again, you can look out, relax, kind of see the vista. And when it's time to rest, you simply close out the blackout shades. Uh, privacy divider, similar to every other Bamboo we've had so far. The big um, aluminum timbre doors with the nice big storage up on top. Uh, this one has even a larger closet. So the, so the 16 closet, 19 closet, now we're going into a 20 closet. So very large, nice hanging uh, area, a lot of storage up on top, a lot of storage down below, and additional storage below here with two different drawers underneath here. So we're getting a lot more storage, right, as you go up in size. Also, a lot of storage under the bed with these, with these bins. There's actually three of these bins, as well as three of these smaller bins. So you have three of these, as well as three of these, all underneath the bed there. It's great for utilizing things that you don't need all the time. You want to bring a, uh, you know, a juicer with you, blender, etc. You don't use it all the time, but you want to kind of have it with you. You can throw it and throw it in there. Uh, the dinette area is also similar. It's in a different space, but it's similar to what the 16 and the 19 have as well. So same space, a um, little bit different conversion. So it's a little easier on the 19 and 16. You have to kind of move things out of the way. On the 20, you simply lift this up. You pivot this down and it comes right into the bed. So these then come off the Velcro, and as I showed you before and demonstrated, this converts into a bed in that way there. So it's, it's just kind of a nicer way of doing it without having to, to um, you know, move things around, just a little quicker. Above the dinette, you'll have additional storage, so two big storage areas, and then this one here houses the JVC stereo, so your stereo USB, again, it's Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone or tablet device, play music, do that. Um, right across from this dinette area is gonna be the refrigerator and probably the biggest telling sign of the difference between a 19 and a 20, that's, the, that, that's this galley. So if you love to cook and entertain, this is unbelievable space. You have a dual sink, so instead of a single stainless steel sink, you have a dual stainless steel sink. You have uh, both windows here and here. Nice big storage up on top and a lot of storage down below. So pull out pantry, lots of storage drawers. All these drawers and all the Bambis have a 10 pound latch. What does that mean? It takes 10 pounds of force to open it up. It's the reason we do that for you, you need a little tug is for um, when you're in transit. Uh, things don't come out. Similar dual gas propane uh, cooktop, so that's the same as what we have in the other models. But you can tell we just have a lot of just countertop space here throughout the whole area. More storage underneath the galley here as well. Um, you have your microwave and you get a bigger furnace. So the 19 had a 16,000 BTU, this has an 18,000 BTU furnace. And that's the same furnace that we have in the 22 as well. And both of them have the same fridge as what the 19 had. It's a 4.3 all electric fridge. Again, great when you're um, on a weekend getaway, if you're plugged in, but if you are gonna be going longer than a weekend uh, and you want to boondock or dry camp, you're gonna wanna have solar. Now, this particular model has solar. I can tell that because the monitor is actually right here. So all Airstreams are pre-wired for solar. 
This particular one has the display. Uh, it's a Victron display right here. The controller is built in um, when, you, when you do opt for the optional solar. We also include a panel on top, that's your solar panel, and we include two AGM batteries. So those AGM batteries are up front by the hitch. Um, otherwise, the unit does not come with batteries, but when you do opt for solar, we put the batteries in. Reason for that is you get fresh batteries when you purchase your new Airstream. Um, in the past, we put batteries in it, and unfortunately at the dealership, if it, if it doesn't stay up and charged, when you get your unit, you might not get fresh batteries. So, but it's not an issue with solar because your batteries are always topped off. Outside of the galley, and the big differentiation there, is the very big bathroom. So the 20 and the 22, you get these big bathrooms. On the 19, you saw how that, that bifold door opens up to give you a bigger space. Here on the 20, we give you that bigger space. So, towel bar, you have a um, medicine cabinet, you have your vanity right here, you have your sink. Inside that door, the storage under the sink, you're gonna have um, a toilet paper dispenser, your toilet, which is right above um, a window that opens up, and there's blinds there, obviously, and the shower itself. Nice, deep corner shower, removable uh, handheld shower piece, uh, closable door, etc. but a nice, big, big area here uh, if you're looking for something that has a little bit more room. So you're moving up from the 19 to the 20, you're getting more space, but now we're gonna take you into the 22, which gives you even a little bit more space on top of that. So the 22 is an FB, it's a front bed. Uh, let's say you're looking for, you know, you've kind of gone through your checklist a little bit. You want something that's small, something that's lightweight, that's nimble, you know you want a Bambi. You look at the models, you see the 16, one of our most popular Bambis, by the way but you notice the wet bath and you say, you know, I wish I had a separate shower. And you have a tow vehicle that can tow it as well. You kind of move up to the 19. You take a look at the 19, you're saying, wow, I love to cook, I love to entertain. I wish I had a little bit more space to do so. Well, now you have the 20. You have a big galley in the 20. On the 22, we're gonna go inside and we'll show you how it differs from the 20 because you're getting a little bit more space. Again, 5,000 GVWR, so you don't have a tow vehicle that does 5,000. Right when you walk in, you still have that boot mat. So it gives you a place to store your shoes. But this whole piece, this whole end cap of a 22 is all the bathroom. So you get that big bathroom like you have in the 20, but it's all up against the back. So you open up the door, you have your toilet off to the side, you have storage underneath it, you have nice big storage underneath this, toilet paper dispenser, stainless steel sink, and this whole piece here is a shower. So just a big open area and it's all encompassing. So similar to the 20, you walk in and everything's there. You have your sink, the toilet, the shower, everything's inside. Kind of moving to this area, you have an even bigger closet. So it's 16, a 19, you got the 20. Now you got this really big 20 foot uh, or 22 foot closet on this one. Um, all of them have lights in it. Big, nice hanging rod storage, big storage area up on top. So you're getting a lot of room on the uh, on the 22. Your fantastic fan uh, on the 20 and the 22. You get two fans. You get one over here by the bathroom, and you're also getting one over by the bedroom. Uh, again, same fridge, same TV, all electric. It's 12 volt. It can be converted to 110, but it's set up as 12 volt. DVD player on the side. Uh, your furnace. Uh, your o o your O2 and LP detector, and your your main power source. You have the same cooktop that you've had in the other ones, uh, the same microwave as well. Again, storage down below. Uh, this one's set up as a bed currently. We'll bring it up to a dinette to show you how that works. Uh, to do so, you simply take these cushions, set them off to the side. Take this one, set off to the side. And there's a little trick. You can actually, there's two quick releases. You open up the quick release. It kind of has a little power there. You spin it. Okay, tuck that under, comes up, you spin it back, you close those quick releases down, they're adjustable, so if it's a little loose, you just simply adjust it with that knurled knob, and then you put the cushions in. Cushion, cushion, and the last one here, and then all these little Velcro tabs just to make sure they stay in place while you're traveling down the road, and now you have this U-shaped seating area, which is nice. Uh, you can fit more people around it than just the two piece uh, or the, the two seating areas. Uh, nice big window with those aluminum um, blinds. And 
Oh, and right across from this area, you're going to have the dual sink. So the same sink as we have in the 22. Again, lots of storage on the inside. You're getting a nice big galley. So the 22 has that kind of split galley. This one, you have this full big one kind of sided galley. They're actually really similar in size um, as far as the galley when you measure them both total. But the bathroom and the bathroom is kind of similar. So what's the major difference? Well, it's the bed. So we take you into the bedroom here. And instead of going with a, uh, a 48 by 78 bed that we have in the 16 and the 20, we have a 54 by 80. So it's a wider, it's longer um, piece you have here. Obviously, the same as the other models, you have your um, privacy curtain. You have these frosted panels here to help provide that privacy so you, you can actually get into those corners. Uh, the headboard in this area has a nice storage feature in it. So this piece comes off and there's a nice storage feature in the headboard. Right next to that, you'll have your USB ports. You have a switch for your over your bedroom light. You also have your two reading lights and there's also a magazine, um, book, whatever you wanna put in there, holder down below as well. Two big overhead cabinets. So similar to what we've had and what we've seen in the other models. So you have a lot of storage room up on top for additional use or additional space. And then there's one other little small storage uh, that's right underneath this area here on the back side. And then of course you have the storage under the bed. So under bed storage and new uh, from the past couple years, we made the bed so you can lift up. You can have two different access points. You can get to the storage through here or through there. And you do get four of these big big storage containers. Again, just easy to make things, keep things organized. You don't have to use those if you don't like, but it's just a nice way to keep it organized under there, certainly while traveling. We've taken a look at the 16RB, the 19CB, the 20FB, and now the 22FB. In the Bambi line, you have two options of decor. You have the Dune, which you saw in the 22, and you also have Ocean, which you saw in the 20FB. Both of these use a Performatex fabric. It's breathable, it's stain resistant and durable. All of them are also removable. There's a hidden zipper that allows them to be removed for either cleaning purposes or if you ever wanna change that decor up, you can. Thank you for spending time with us today as we've looked at the four different floor plans of Bambi. Seeing it on video is one thing. Stepping inside and experiencing that quality and craftsmanship of each Airstream is something that you need to experience for yourself. For additional details, go to airstream.com or make an appointment at your nearby Airstream dealer. From Jackson Center, see you on the road.